Yeah, uh, I had to modify my little bracket and drop it down a little bit because it looked like uh, there might be a chance for interaction with the inside of the cowling. And uh, kind of a crude mock-up I've got going here just to test things out, but uh, got 12 volts going to uh, this little DC power converter. It's a little adjustable units. I bought a bunch of them to run battery operated Christmas lights on the boat. And uh, it's set now to four and a half volts. That's the minimum uh, for these servos. Four and a half to six, I think, is the range. And uh, they get uh, quite a bit more powerful at six volts. So let's see what it can do at four and a half. Okay, so that works. Now, that's still with all of the uh, throttle return springs, which I'm fighting with myself uh, whether to keep or not. And I know, I understand, you need that to close the throttles. Uh, if something were to go wrong here, then the engine could uh, rev out of control. But I'm gonna have a big red kill button uh, on the helm station and it's got a built-in rev limiter anyway so it's probably not going to grenade and I thought about just using a counterbalance spring um, another spring to assist opening the throttles but that doesn't really equal out because as you stretch a spring it gets tighter it gets more tension so as you approach full throttle here these are getting tighter whereas a balanced spring would be getting looser. So it would really only be balanced in the middle of the travel, and so that's not gonna, that's not gonna work that great either. Um, so I think I'm gonna get rid of them and just uh, have a direct rod connection with a spring on either side as a cushion for full throttle and idle. So when the, when the carbs come back down to idle, there's a little bit of a cushion. The, the servo's not going to be fighting against the stop uh, either direction. I think that'll work. Because having to fight against those return springs is going to shorten the life of that servo. And that's just a fact of life. So, this is definitely going to work. One way or another. And I'm certain I could get by with 20 kilogram servos. These are 35. More is better, right? And uh, so I'll buy some 20s anyway, just to uh, at least have for spares or like less than 20 bucks. And I'm gonna have plenty of spares for this. Uh, all components uh, ready to swap out, ready to plug in. And I might not try this experimental fly-by-wire stuff if I only had one engine. Might not. But uh, I also wanted to try uh, the 35 uh, to see if it could do the shifting as well. And it probably would, but uh, I got something beefier in mind for the shifter. So, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.